Hi, today we're going to be learning about quantum mechanics in one dimension, and the specific topic that we'll be talking about is wave function of a free particle. Um, so some very important variables for you to understand are there's k, which is a wave number, there's omega, which is frequency, e is energy, as you should already know, p is momentum, and then there's h bar, which is the same as Planck's constant h, but it's divided by 2 pi. And then there's some different de Broglie relations, which are really helpful. Um, there's k, which is a wave number, equals momentum over h bar. And then also omega equals energy over h bar. And there's also omega um, in terms of k. So you have h bar k squared over 2 times the mass. And then also, I'm going to work out one of the energy equations, which you should already know, but it's very important. Um, so I'm trying to show um, the way that you get energy equals momentum squared over 2 times the mass. So we know that the kinetic energy equals 1 half mv squared. And then we know that momentum equals mv. So then momentum squared equals mv squared, and then um, we take p squared over 2m to get the other side to equal 1 half mv squared, which equals our energy. So then we get the equation that we were trying to find in the beginning, which is e equals p squared over 2m. And then, um, so as you can tell by the title, it's about the wave function of a free particle. So now we're going to get to that. This is a wave function. It's denoted by this Greek symbol. And we have A equals e to the i times kx minus omega t. And A is the amplitude. K is the wave number, as we explained earlier. Omega, frequency. Um, and it will be an oscillating function, uh, like a sine or cosine. Um, and by this you can see it's a times cosine times kx minus omega t plus i times sine kx minus omega t. And so basically the free particle, it'll be a traveling wave. And our position of the particle, it's unknown, um, but we do know the energy and the momentum of the particle according to these formulas here. And then, um, there also can be a wave group. Um, so there's a different equation for the wave function of a particle traveling with a wave group. So here's the equation for when the time equals zero. Um, so it's the integral from negative infinity to infinity of a of k times e to the i k x. Um, and integrated with respect to x. So a of k is the same as like the amplitude of the function. And then in addition to doing it when t equals 0, you can also have a wave function for any time t, which is this one right here. Um, so it's the integral from negative infinity to infinity of um, a of k e to the i times the entire function, or the entire part of the equation, kx minus omega kt, and integrated with respect to k. Um, so each different wave has a different wave number. So because of that, all the waves have different velocities. Um, and as time goes on, um, because they have different velocities, the wave packet disperses, and the wave packet um, the shape of it actually changes. And that's all we have. The end. <laughs>